Hello everybody and welcome back to the new Ariador Biome Bundle server. Today we will take care of two different things. At first we will go over and find a place that we will call home. Rika found an amazing spot that we want to show you where we want to settle down and build up a base and I will also explain a little bit what we have planned for that video wise because we have some cool ideas that involves you people from the community. And after that we will meet up with some people, actually with a lot of people from the server because a month is over already and we will do our first server tour. And that's going to be super cool because we we'll also killed the dragon. So lots of stuff in today's episode. But now as you can see we are already starting with a little bit of a montage. So let us right over to the new place where we want to set up our base.
so this is the place that we want to call home from now on i really like this and we have so many ideas how we could build in here without destroying the terrain and we need your help for that because uh the idea will be that we will go a little bit further up let me quickly ride over to somewhere around here because then we can see it a little bit better i think all right so along the wall here you can st see the stone that's where we will have a walkway going all along the whole valley and uh, that's where we will dig into the mountain to place the things that we want to place in here and we want your ideas and your suggestions what we should start with so uh, i want you to go to the comment section and tell us what should be the first thing that we should build in here and uh, then we will hopefully get it into here. Also, you can rate the comments by leaving upvotes on the ones that you really like. And I hope to uh, get a lot of community feedback about the space that we are building. Because that would be just a whole new deal for me to play. Um, not thinking too much about what I want to build and where I want to build it, uh, but let you make the decisions and then just roll with it. I think that will be pretty cool, but now we need to have a way back to spawn and therefore I think we'll place a portal right here in the center for now. I've got the obsidian for that on me. I think I should maybe dig a little hole for the horse. Or Rik is building a fenced off area. I don't know if she has more fence than that. I don't think so. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll take care of the horse in a moment. But for now, let's hope that we'll get out in a good spot with the portal here because it's always a little bit tricky to link up portals. But maybe we are far enough away from any close by portal that this will do the trick for us. Let me quickly do this also on the other side just to have it symmetrical. And then I will go through the portal, uh, go back in, and if I come back out here, we are all good. If I don't, uh, Riku will still be here, and I can disable the portal that I came out, and hopefully then we create a new one. So here we are in the... Whoa! Hmm, that's close call. Uh, let's go back through and see if that leads back. And it does. Perfect. So portal is linked. And uh, that means that I can go back to spawn now and do something over there. So hello everybody and welcome to the first server tour on the new Ariador Biome Bundle server. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. So as we said in the beginning, we are going to do tours from time to time on here, which is kind of once a month, and show you guys what has been happening on the server. And since this server has been running now for almost a month and quite a lot of things happened, we are going to tour some places and then kill the Ender Dragon as well with a special twist, which we won't uh, tell you yet what it is, but it's going to be super fun. So I'd say let's get started, let's have a look around and maybe talk about some places. So I reckon we'll have some jump cuts because it's quite a walk that we need to do. But first up, let's have a look around Spawn. And since we are up here on the airship that is hovering over Spawn, which is Rikus and my house, we can already have a look down and see what's around. Please don't miss the water because that's painful. <laughs> I just heard a creeper oh, explode. On. Oh, who put the stone <laughs> in the middle of the water? <laughs> uh, Chrissia probably has the nicest house at spawn, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, let's check out Chrissia's house, <clears throat> then. Uh, not only at spawn, we'll uh, probably also go to her other house, because Chrissia is pretty crazy. If we take a look in tab screen, she played 13,313 <laughs> <13 laughs> minutes. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, also, we've got uh, these maps. We, we should maybe uh, show the maps real quick because that's a cool project. Since this is the biome bundle generated world, we have a limited area that we can go to and we can see that on the maps uh, pretty good how big it is. It's uh, 10,000 by 10,000 blocks. So this will be the maximum area that we need to cover with maps. So this is Chrissia's place looking super amazing. Kind
kind of rude that everybody's just stepping into her <laughs> living room. <laughs> Not even taking the boots off. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody immediately, immediately taking the boots, their boots off. <laughs> so we do have a skelly farm. Uh, Origin, do you want to say something about that? Uh, just a quad spawner, super nice. It was a fun project with Petty and had a good time. <clears throat> And this serves everybody well now with XP until somebody of these crazy guys builds an enderman farm. <laughs> <laughs> so to our Smooth. left, this is Yaka Box uh, area. Not quite done, but this is going to be a castle as far as I know. Then next we've got White Trackers Mansion. Who probably has the nicest view of a spawn. Uh, <laughs> we've got the two ships on there. Whose are these? Does anybody know? Oh, uh, Tim's. 8, 7 Tims. So that's pretty cool. Then if we go further, I think this is Henny stuff. Quite impressive, pr uh, impressive as well. Yeah, these are probably the best looking houses in town. These houses made me not want to build anything on the server. <laughs> I just wanted to go in a hole and never build. <laughs> wow. Detail, amount of detail that is on these houses is just crazy. Yeah. And of course he also has a port here. Uh, we've got Yavadet's place. <laughs> and, and now I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drive into Oh, I got here too late. Man, this Frostwalker is so good for this. Yeah, until you get the very end of it, you're just watching it melt in front of your face. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Brett's place. This is also looking quite amazing. It was there for quite some time already. Like, first two days and this was done. I thought this was like um, a structure that was, I thought it was so good. I was like, huh. Back there with the mushroom, whose house is this? That's a notaries. Ah, it's a notaries. Okay. And then to the right, I think the broken ship is WASD's place. Do you have an entrance, Butterfish, to something? Because there's just your mailbox. Oh, it's underwater. I have not oh. seen this place then. Oh, of course there's stuff. Neat. Oh, wow. Secretly built an underwater base there. And that's why he's also maybe having the squid as the banner. Uh, it took me quite a while to get everything <laughs> that I needed and get it done. But... It, uh, it, I think I'm happy with the finished product. It's kind of, um, the top is kind of a barn design, but a little bit different. I like the size comparison from your house to Dougie's house. Because <laughs> <laughs> this one right. is, is Dougie's. <laughs> the one with the birch roof is Block Basher. Uh, I don't know whose that is with the wool, not finished. I don't think there's... Oh, that's Stiers, okay. And the one over here is Magic Twin. This one here. Then we've got a kind of shop which will be moved in the future still. Uh, he just hadn't had the time for it. It's uh, 6MJ09's place. He's staying here. I don't know if there's something up there in the head, but he's selling like stuff that everybody can get for free now in the... <laughs> a skelly farm. <laughs> so it's not really a shop because also, you want to have any better customers. prices at my shop. Yeah, also. Then uh, original. Does anybody have bones? Because this this lawn is way too mowed. <laughs> we, we we should plant down some grass again. Man, <laughs> mow your lawn, dude. <laughs> 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 So Chris has this amazing hut, uh, which was a dirt house before, 
and got pimped up. Paul has the tent village right here. Did I miss anybody's house? Technically, you missed mine, but it's just like a dirt shack. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe let's have a quick look around the shopping district because that's looking pretty awesome. I think people decorated it uh, today or yesterday, right? Yeah, I did. Putting parts in place. So we can buy all kinds of things here on the server. The, the business is running really good here. We've got like obsidian shop, string shop, sugar cane, a statue shop, a wheat shop, a slime shop, uh, a chest where you can just dump anything. There's fireworks in <laughs> here. Cool. <laughs> what is this about? Uh... Mending bookstore? Are you kidding me? I've already bought four of these. Yeah, yeah me too. For myself. What is this about? I don't know this shop. Can you just wild, order wild them? Trackers. Or does he really I have asked. mending books? He really ha he had mending books. How did he get them? They're they're all sold. He, has he a found villager. a villager. Oh, all right. He, he has a better villager than we have on New Reader. <laughs> Twelve, em uh, 12 emeralds for a mending book. Then over here we've got the junk chest where you can just drop off anything. We've got the inverted world where you can get diamonds, I think, for iron, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was the case. Yeah, one diamond equals 32 iron, but it's kind of sold out right now. <laughs> so it's the wrong way around. Um, and then over here... That this was is actually my house. Technically, oh. building. Um, I'm gonna be selling wood in here, and I have um, Java Dad's um, charcoal shop in here. I convinced him, <laughs> I forced him. <laughs> so right. this is gonna be like where you buy wood and whatever else. I feel like selling, and mm -hmm. technically my home. So <laughs> living in a shop, like a real Basically. businessman. <laughs> so I think that's about it about spawn. This will progress further into the root biome over there when we get more shops so we can have plenty of things here, plenty of space to build. And I think now we'll get over to the next place, uh, which is, I think, Salodri's area, but we should make a little bit of a jump cut to there because it's quite a walk. So here we are now at the first big project that somebody has been starting on the server and this is Salodri's project. So Salodri, what is this? A small spaceship who was made by Pruett on a community server and I thought this is a quite cool project to build in survival but not in the air because I might fall off quite often and so I decided I built it on the ground and I my plans are that I fill it up with a lot of redstone contraptions and at the moment it's not finished, it's at the first process, so the inside is at the moment empty. And it contains a lot of stone like you see, I think it's 15,000 or so. You also did some videos about this project if I'm not mistaken. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I'm pretty sure he did. So if you want to see that, uh, then just uh, go into the description. Uh, there you can find more information about this crazy project. Let's go over to the next one then. So what do you do with 13,000 minutes on a server? You just built an awesome village and an awesome place in this world generation. So let's actually check this out. She has been building quite a lot of things, some farms and decorating everything very nicely. Kind of the same thing that we already saw at spawn, uh, just with other materials and bigger. And that's a classic Dougie. <laughs> I want to report playing on the server. <laughs> <laughs> I like how your chest plate broke and then you <laughs> <laughs> So. This place is just amazing. If you just look around everywhere, pretty cool. I think we should visit that at a later server tour again to see what our change. I think this will grow a lot and will be a pretty cool place to look at. So here we are back 
and this is Tim's place. It is a village on a mountain. If you take a look around, we are quite elevated um, in this biome, which is... Does anybody know what this biome is called? Maybe, maybe a tropical mesa? That sounds interesting. It wasn't sexy at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get that two out of ten. For <laughs> and maybe yeah, he, a tropical mesa? He built a quite nice village here uh all kinds of farms and uh this is looking already quite amazing it's also showing again how cool the terrain generation with this mod the biome bundle pack is actually so lots of plants here as well i think uh from tim's side and uh we'll see more of this i think in the future as well the last place on the list is Brett's place, and since he's here, he can tell you what this is all about. So basically it's just a broken up plane, which I built in the first, like, two or three days in the server. <laughs> and also in the back, if you'd come and follow me, Paddy, and the others. There's like dead people in here. <laughs> yep. Also down here, there's a double skeleton spawner, which I built and upgraded a few times. So I think that this was the last place that we wanted to check out today. Of course, there's way more things on the server happening, but for this server tour, this is uh, the place that we wanted to visit. And now we want to go to the end and kill the dragon, but with a special twist. We all will just be in iron gear with uh, bows unenchanted and swords unenchanted. Uh, and uh, since the dragon is quite lonely, uh, we decided that new Riador people will be playing with the dragon, while everybody else uh, that is not playing on new Riador will be trying to kill the dragon. Alright, so we are in the end and it's kind of time to start for the new real people to defend the dragon and the crystals and the others to kill the dragon, so let's see how this goes. Oh, dang it, there's somebody up there! No! <laughs> uh, Paul, you, the directions is go through the snow biome. That's yes. the best I can do. There's a silverfish in the end. I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> Tim, you're not going up there. <laughs> It's me. No. Brett, go away. Oh, God. <laughs> SC Diamond just taking a boat with the Enderman around. How did you get up there that quickly? In the pearls. Does anyone oh, know if it's nighttime? Cheating. <laughs> <laughs> if people are pillowing up, are we allowed to shoot them off? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. But there's no none of the cages left, I think. That's, yeah, there's one. Thanks, Jeffy. <laughs> <laughs> You were trying to get up there. Jeffy, that's now just, I'm gonna, I was just going to protect this one here, so water. nobody can can get up here. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to... No, wait. Oh, sorry, I'm going to go up to uh, get rid of the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please use my bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I see Diamond is driving around with an enderman in the boat. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Are you still stuck in there, Oswin? Um... Ooh, <laughs> that was brutal. <laughs> Technically not stuck, but I'm waiting for it to become night so that I can get back into the battle. Alright, I'm setting this spawn. How do I get two Get off there, Brett! Ah, there's no water! Who took the water away? I need the water! Someone help me! Where are you at? <laughs> I'm being chased by an enderman. Yeah, you gotta get a pumpkin. <laughs> Who's trying to pull up in the center? That would take ages. <laughs> <laughs> There's really somebody in the center of the pillar now. Have someone pulled no. for me. Is that the last last crystal? I think so, yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, oh Jeffy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Team what kill. happened to the whole you know, that that message isn't allowed to be in chat? Yeah, it's a team kill. That's no, fine. It, it was only the Dougie Dug Dug message that couldn't be in chat. <laughs> Damn petty. Yeah. Everyone else is allowed to kill people, just not me. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Jeffy. 
Didn't see I have an idea. Here. Don't worry. Is the, I got Tim out there dead anyways. Is the crystal dead or is it still alive? <laughs> it, the crystal's still here. Oh, awesome. No! No! Nice. <laughs> Let's guess who has that pillar. Now it's dead. I think really at this really point we can just the team up again field. and everybody's try to kill the yeah. dragon because uh, the fun part is now kind of done. So let's see that we kill the dragon as quick as we can. It shouldn't be too hard. It's way too easy with that many people. It is. We should have spawned a dragon for each player that enters. That could have been fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even able Maybe to Maybe once to we've got loads of end crystals we should summon like 20. Poor can dragon. you do, can you summon multiple ones at the same time? I think you can. Can uh, can someone give me a bow, please? Uh, where are you at? Oh, where are you? Um, I'm next. behind you. And it's almost nice. broken. I have another one. Uh, dragon is almost and dead. Have some and there's <laughs> a death animation. Did it, did it drop a, did it... Yeah. XP rain! I mean, I'm probably gonna die and lose all this XP soon, but <laughs> I want it anyway. I love how I XP. die right before the XP rain. <laughs> Can somebody maybe box in the, or do you pick it up? Ah, oh, Tim is picking it up, okay. Just maybe put it into a safe spot, <clears throat> like in, in an ender chest, or give it to Rika, she's at the ship. So yeah, that was the dragon fight. Uh, Thank you very much for yeah, participating at this first server tour slash dragon fight. It was a lot of fun running around with you. Looking forward to next month and your awesome builds then. See ya. So goodbye everybody. Goodbye Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.